Here's everything that happened in medicine today in 60 seconds or less. Measles has now officially passed 1,000 total cases in the United States, which brings it to the second largest outbreak since 2000 when it was officially eliminated. People are saying it's not going to take much long for it to hit the number one spot. The study finds teens involved in a fatal crash. Nearly one-third of them were driving a car that was 15 years or older. Vehicles that were 15 years or older had a 31% higher risk of being involved in a fatal car accident compared to those that were five years or younger. Two big reasons, less safety, harder to break in those older cars as they're usually just not as good. Moderna was showing promising results for a COVID and flu vaccine in the same jab. This was a phase three trial with 8,000 people that were 50 years old. Basically what they found was that a single dose had higher levels of antibodies compared to a single dose of either one of them and they're using antibodies as a way to kind of indicate immune response. Lastly, big long-term study out of neurology today showing that individuals who were consuming ultra-processed foods had a higher risk of developing Parkinson's. They're not sure why, but they're thinking additives and other weird stuff is kind of damaging the dopamine receptors, causing Parkinson's over time. All of this was self-reported, but it did involve 42,000 people over 26 years, so a long time. That's all the major medical news for today. If you want all the links and all the major information, you can subscribe to my Substack with the link in the bio. We'll get all the breakdowns. We'll get a daily update as to what's going on, and you can stay tuned for more. See you tomorrow.